And so it's been uh, nearly eight months since your last fight, the longest break of your career. What have you been working on, and how have you sort of spent that time getting uh, getting ready? Uh, you know, obviously it's been a it's been a long road this year. Uh, obviously, I haven't haven't fought in eight months, but you know, I've got a new team. Um, you know, improved team as well. So, so I'm hoping to to showcase my skills and what I've learned uh, in the past few past few months. Uh, Clay Waterman, the opponent you've had your eye on for for a while now, and what can you kind of expect from this fight? Uh, I haven't really had my eye on Clay Waterman, uh, to be honest. Um, obviously, we just needed a we needed a, an Australian fight, so so Clay Waterman was a guy that we wanted as well. So so we got Clay Waterman, and, and that's the fight. <laughs> now, what, what do you make of him in terms of as as, as an opponent? What do you see in his I like, guess style of fight, and that you can uh, you can kind of take out? Well, I feel like I already know him already. I don't feel like he's a, um, he's even changed or improved at all. Um, I feel like it's just going to be one race streak, and I'm just going to take him out. Now, what can what can fans expect to see from you on on, on the night? Um, the best and improved Paulo Cusso. Some exciting uh, p potential matchups in the division. Uh, is there any any other fights you're looking at uh, in the future? Uh, right now, I'm just focused on Clay Waterman. Um, that's that's the only person I've been trained to uh, to fight for. Um, so yeah, that's the only person I'm prepared for. And looking ahead, what what do you kind of see in the future in 2025 for uh, for Paulo Cusso? I want to keep fighting the best of the best. You know, um, that's that's what I'm here to do. That's what I'm. You know, that's what I'm made to do, so yeah, I'm going to do that for sure. Switch gears a little bit, what did you make of the uh, bivol Benavia fight uh, over, the, uh, over the last week? Uh, it, was a, it was a clinic, um, it, was, it was like 100% IQ on both ends, um, I feel like it could have went um, either way, but um, you know, the best man won that night, and yeah. You feel that was the, that, that was the right result? Uh, I don't know, to be honest, I've, you know, I feel like um, better be, you know, better be, better be better, yeah. You, is that in inspiring to see you know, two guys in your division you know, fight at that kind of level with that intensity? Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, like, that's what I've been training hard to do. You know, like, I'm trying to train hard to knock off these, these people in front of me, and hopefully when it gets to that time, I'll be up there with the best of the best.